there are times where you have a collective set of data that you would like to display to your user such as a collection of books or a list of things that you have to do or it could be a list of countries or a list of employees or a list of students so in that situation you need an elegant way to display that information to a an user and list view helps you to do that a list view creates a scrollable view which can have several rows that can display your data in the way you desire in this example we have a collection of fruits that we are going to display using a list view and uh, let me go ahead and show you how to do that you can see that this is our layout and it is empty we are going to drag a list view inside this let's go to composite and here you can find the list view I'm going to drag it here inside you can see we have the list view and let me drag it so that it can occupy the entire screen so this occupies the entire screen however we have padding in our relative layout I'm going to remove the padding around it to do that click on the relative layout and here you can see the padding properties the padding left top right and bottom properties I'm going to delete the values inside it inside them so that we'll remove all the padding and the list view will fit snugly inside the layout here we go so the list view now completely occupies the layout let's go ahead and give this a name it's named list view one we're going to change it fruits list so fruits list is the ID for this list view save this and now I've already created a string resource that you can find in the resource folder in the values and in strings.xml you can see I have a string array resource with a list of fruits this is the string array that we are going to display in our list view to do that let's go to our Java code and list view activity Java all right we have it here I want to get a reference to our list view first we need a reference variable and let's go get the ID fruits list I've cast it we know that we have an array of fruits that we're going to display so let's go ahead and get that array from our string resource get resources dot get string array r dot array dot fruits let's assign this to a string array let's call it fruits so we have an array here we already know that list view is an adaptive view which means between the data and the list view we have an adapter which is responsible for providing the views for each and every data item now here we have an array which is the fruits and we also have a list view in our layout we're going to need an adapter that can take the data from this array and present it in the list view Android comes with a default adapter that you can use for this purpose it's called as an array adapter so now we're going to use an array adapter to create views from the data item for our list view let me show you how to do that create a new array adapter array adapter and since we are backing up a string data set we're going to use string fruits adapter is equal to new array adapter and the context is this and for the text view resource ID we are going to use a built-in Android resource which is Android dot R dot layout dot simple list item one so this is the layout that we are going to use and this layout that is the simple list item one layout is a built-in Android resource and 
it contains only a text view and that text view will be used in this adapter and again we have to supply a list of the array of fruits you can either supply an array or you can also supply a list as a parameter in this case we are going to use an array save this and the adapter is ready let's go ahead and set this adapter to our list view fruits list dot set adapter and fruits adapter that's it let's go ahead and run this application click on run run this and run that run this as an Android application click OK and switch to the emulator the list is ready and you can scroll down it's really simple to use a list view and uh, to customize your list items you can also do that you can have multiple views in a row which means in case if you're displaying a contact information you could have the name of the person followed by the phone number and you can also have his photograph to the left or right of your list item you have enough flexibility to do whatever you want in Android so in this video we learned how to use a list view this is just the beginning and in the upcoming videos I'll show you how to do even more customizations using your list view and if you have any questions please feel free to ask Thank you.